Hello, this is Victor, and in this video I'm going to be walking you through some power scheduling features. Uh, the first one I want to look at is how to change the balance if you're more concerned about gender-based balancing rather than numbers-based balancing um, within your schedule for next year. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and log into PowerSchool. Um, once you're in PowerSchool, make sure you navigate to the school that you want to be in. Um, again, Power Scheduler only works from the specific schools rather than the district office. Once you're there, go ahead and fire up Power Scheduler. Um, and once you have it set up, you're going to do uh, some very specific changes to the courses that you want to be balanced in a certain way. So I'm going to go ahead and select courses from the resources and then select one that I know I want to have set as a gender-based balance, which is our advisory courses in this case. What you're going to see in the Preferences tab is a whole range of data about that class that Power Schedule will, will use. What I'm going to do, though, is make sure that I set the balance priority, rather than being on section, to being on gender. And the reason for that is that we want a more even split of students in that advisory class. Now, if I wanted to make sure that that was based upon grade level, that you know the grades were all mixed in specific teams or things like that, I could do that as well. But that's just one way of setting constraints for the load on each course. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out or leave a comment on this video. Thanks.